So in this video, we're going to take building our real world website a step further. What we're going to do is we're going to get go back to our uh, wrapper. Um, this is thing, this thing here, and this video, we're essentially going to center our content on the page. And this is quite a tricky thing to do. Um, you might often find that everything you do in, on the internet is kind of shoved over to the top left hand corner. And even if you put in margins or padding, it kind of doesn't really it pushes out. But then if you, if you if you're on a big screen, it still looks like it's misaligned somehow. So in this video, we're actually going to use this technique of using a wrapper to be able to center our content. Um, and, and it's pretty easy to do. Um, this is what we're going to do. The, the first step is uh, set the width of our wrapper. Um, and this is essentially setting how wide the content area of our website is going to be. And it's usually good to do it in, in pixels so that you can um, easily work with the rest of your content. You know then that you've got a defined pixel limit. And in general, you, you, it's good to not go bel uh, above um, about a thousand pixels across. Okay, most most uh, computer screens are about a thousand pixels across, and even if you display it on a large projector, it will still look okay at a thousand pixels across. Um, but if you want to be more conversion friendly and you want to work on smaller browsers, on 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 netbooks and tiny computers, you might want to set it to maybe 800 pixels across. But it doesn't give you as much space to work with. Um, so we'll, we'll have a look at exactly how that looks in a minute. But next, we'll do a rule for the margin. Now, um, if you've looked at margins before, you'll know that they go in a clockwise position. First, you set the top, then you set the right, and then you set the bottom, and then you set the and then you set the left. And what this is saying is the the top is zero away, zero um, uh, pixels away from whatever's next nearest, or there's nothing above the the wrapper, so that it should just be buttered up against the top of the screen. Then on the right it's set to auto, the bottom is set to zero, and the left is set to auto. You might not have seen auto before, but what this means is to uh, just automatically define how far away it should be based on a relative scale, um, and, and it's very useful just in this situation. Now an interesting thing about CSS is auto doesn't really work on the vertical axis. It doesn't work on the top and bottom. It only really works on the side to side. And I don't really know why this is. I should look this up and, and find out more about it. And, and I'm sure I will at some point. Um, but essentially, this is something that is um, it is a problem in CSS. And, and you have to learn sort of tricks and tips to get around these sort of, these sort of issues. Um, there's also another little thing I can do here. Because both the, the top and the bottom and the left to left are the same, we can actually get rid of the second two and CSS kind of knows what we're talking about here. So it knows that the top and bottom need to be zero and the left and right need to be auto. Uh, and then I think that's about it uh, for the uh, for the for the wrapper. Um, I just want to um, acknowledge here the Tech Republic blog post that I was just quickly reading here that uh, that actually does a great job of showing how to center text, especially for older browsers. Uh, and so um, I'll carry on because the, my code, although it will do it with just this width 800 pixels and margin set to this, if we if we save this and uh, we go to our, our our page here, it will it will essentially center the uh, the, the the wrapper in the middle of the screen no matter how large our screen gets it will stay in the center uh, which is great it doesn't work on slightly older browsers so so um just to acknowledge the tech republic it's got just two extra bits of code that you might find useful if you happen to be working with older browsers which a lot of people still do and and that is text align needs to be set to um, needs to be set to left because a lot of older browsers would take this margin setting as, as trying to put the text in the middle. And you also need to set the body to have a min width, which basically says don't go below uh, uh, the same amount as your as your wrapper. And don't uh, and make sure the text align in your in your uh, in your body is set to is set to left as well, and that will that will uh, make sure that any other browsers that are older will still be able to handle this uh, this style sheet. And it doesn't it doesn't change here, but this is that's because this is a, a new browser as such. And you'll see here that uh, that it it, it uh, still handles fine, which is great. So there we've done it. We've uh, we've put um, our content in the middle. So the next step is to go work our way through the header the menu, the main, and the footer. In fact, the next video, we will arrange the main side by side, um, the, the content in the main, the two divs, the sidebar and the content, and the content area. 